Hi everyone and welcome back to Stamp with Anna and today I have a project that we made at card class <clears throat> this past weekend and it's using some product from the new occasions catalog and free product from the celebration catalog. I made this card um, as a happy Mother's Day card but I'm going to change it up a little bit because I do need to send a card to a friend who is not feeling well and she just loves tea so I thought it would be perfect. What I'm using for the stamp set, it is in the Occasions catalog. It's called Tea Together, and here it is on page 49, and it's just such a nice, nice set. Um, and then I'm using the Tea Time Framelits, which you can get free from Celebration, and here it is on page 17 of the Celebration catalog. It is a second tier um celebration item so you do have to spend a hundred dollars to get that so what we have for paper is our base which is balmy blue eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and one quarter and then we have two pieces of whisper white that are three and three quarters by five and one is for the front and one is for the inside and then we have another product from the Occasions catalog, which is this beautiful gingham paper. It's called Gingham Gala, and it's six by six paper, and it has beautiful, beautiful colors. There's um, Balmy Blue, Daffodil Delight, Grapefruit Grove, Heather Highland, Highland Heather, excuse me, and Lemon Lime Twist. So, that's an item to purchase, but you could also get the coordinating organza ribbons for free. So these are in the celebration. These are a first tier um, celebration item. So these are free with a fifty dollar product, fifty dollar purchase. So you can see everything coordinates just so beautifully. And from that gingham paper, I'm using a piece of. Um, the balmy blue and it's cut at one and a half by oh, four and seven eighths now i have a piece of scrap white and i'm going to do my stamping i'm going to stamp using gray granite and i'm going to stamp up the tea kettle which i just love i think it's so pretty and i'm going to just stamp this in the top. Then I'm going to come in and stamp my teacup. So now you see that these have nothing on the inside, but my sample here has flowers on the inside. So this the stamp set also comes with these great little images. You can use them or you can't use them. Whatever you want. So I'm going to take this larger rose and I'm just going to place that right there in the middle of my teapot. And then I'm going to come in with the smaller flower. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my coffee cup. Now that's beautiful in and of itself. But I'm going to color it up a little bit. And you guys know me, I'm not a big colorer. So this does cause, cause me a little bit of angst. But I'm going to use the new Stampin' Blends. And this is Balmy Blue. Now there's no right or wrong way to do this. Some people start with the darker and then use the light. And some people use the light first and then move on to the darker. What I'm going to do is use dark first. Now you notice on the marker there's a thick tip and a fine tip. I'm going to color with the thick tip. And I'm not going to do it all on camera because it's kind of boring for you to just watch me. So what I'm going to do is just outline certain parts of my tea kettle and because it is all alcohol markers you do want to um, do your blending rather quickly you don't want it to sit too long because then it will dry and you won't be able to blend nicely so that's enough for now and I'm going to take my light one and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to swirl and pull some of that darker marker so it gives a little bit of a shadow. 
and if I don't like the way it looks I can certainly go back with a little more dark you can just go on and on and on and just go back and forth and back and forth so I'm gonna color this off screen and I'll be right back okay so I've done all my blue coloring with my marker and now I want to do my gold coloring so what I'm gonna do I have a st my stamp pad of so saffron I'm gonna just squish the middle of it and I'm going to pull some ink right here and what I'm gonna do is just come in with my blender pen and just color where I want the gold to be now this is not watercolor paper so you don't want to saturate it too much because it will pill so I'm just going to go around and do all the areas that I want so I'm done with the so saffron and I'm going to come in and do the same thing with the leaves for with and I'm using old olive and that's just going to take a second there are not very many leaves there this does go real quickly it's it, you don't have to be too fussy with it it is hand painted okay and there is all of my coloring for the front of my card now I'm going to go to my big shot machine and I'm going to die cut these out using the coordinating framelits, tea time framelits, which again are free at a level two purchase, which is $100. And I'm just gonna go cut these right out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my die cut pieces and now I'm gonna just start to put my card together. First thing I'm going to do is attach my three and three quarters by five piece of Whisper White to my card front to center that up then I'm going to bring in my beautiful gingham paper and the gingham as you'll see one side of it has small checks and the other side has large checks checks I happen to like the larger side so I'm going to just put this towards the bottom and I do have a little white border around that and I'm going to take my tea kettle and I'm going to put this on with some snail Be Oop, got it stuck there because I want it flush on my card so I'm going to put that right over here little fingers here I'm going to put that right there and then I'm going to take my little teacup and that I'm going to use some stampin dimensionals because I want that to pop up and be uh, forward. So put that there, and I'm going to raise that just a tad right there. Now I'm going to make put my sentiment here. On this one here, I used Happy Mother's Day, but like I said, I am making this um, for as a thinking of you card for a friend of mine. So I'm going to take the Mommy Blue, and I'm using the Itty Bitty Greeting Set, and this is two, a two-package set, and I'm just going to use the sentiment that says a little hello, because I'm just going to drop this in the mail to her to let her know that I'm thinking of her. And then what I did with the beautiful organza ribbon that you can get for free during celebration is I made this precious little bow. And with the dimensional, uh, not excuse me, dimensional, a glue dot, I'm just going to place that right here. Now on my other one, I place it on the side there, but right here I have a little bit of a smudge with my coloring. So I'm going to color that up, cover that up. Excuse me. So I'm going to put my bow right there. And I still think that's just as precious. So there's the front of my card. Then what I did on the inside of my card is I stamped that same rose right here on the corner. 
and I'm going to put that on the inside of my card <clears throat> center that up and I'll write her a hand note and then on my envelope I stamped that same rose right there on the corner so when she, it arrives in her mailbox she has an equally pretty envelope as she does a card so there you have it Mother's Day and just a little hello with a beautiful cup of tea. If you have any questions at all about this project or any of the products I've used, certainly contact me through my blog, www.stampwithanna.blogspot.com, and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. If you do not have a demonstrator with whom you work and would like to receive a free copy of the celebration brochure as well as the occasions catalog certainly let me know and i'll be real happy to just drop that in the mail to you thanks so much and i'll catch you back here with another project this week bye bye